Hey Soul fans, Jim Decker coming at you from Soul Fast E-Bikes. What we're looking at here is my brand new Generation 2 Rapid Blue Cuda. We've got some new features on board including our new SS um, racing saddle here. But one of the newest biggest thing we're doing is this brand new display here. So there's no information on this yet so we are just learning this as well. So we just fired this up. So this display here is probably, I'd say, about 30% larger than the 500C color display we were previously using on this, and that's also current on all our, our pro bikes, but this is kind of the latest and greatest. So we just fired this up. So this is actually gonna show quite a bit of information on here. As you can tell, right on the very top right, we are gonna be teetering on what is the true voltage. So we are teetering right at 57 volts. This thing's gonna to top out at 58.8, and as soon as you unplug it, it'll drop down to below 58. So on the top left, we're gonna have the wattage out. Um, we have the miles per hour, the gears, um, the power selectors on one, we'll go to two. Just hit the plus button all the way up to five. And then you'll, you'll hit the, um, the, the uh, what are we at here? Sorry guys, we're all learning here. Hit the plus button, that'll turn on the headlight. Bam, that'll show your icon. We also have the brake inhibitors here, so go ahead and hit the brake, so the brake inhibitor will still show on here on the bottom right. So we're gonna go through some of the settings on here. This display also has the ability to go back to the original OG display on our 500C that's currently stock on the Pros, but we're gonna go through some of the settings on here. So I've got Scotty with me right here. What's up, Scotty? Hey, how's it going, guys? Well, I hope we're gonna do this, and uh, like <laughs> he's saying, there's a lot of different information on this one than there is on uh, the other display. And so um, even for the things that we don't show you, we're gonna show you the basics of how to push the buttons and move things around. And then um, it's pretty much uh, kind of self-explanatory from there, but let's rock this. Yeah, and we're already setting these things up for wide open. So this bike, when you get it from us out of the box, is set to um, full speed, maximum speed. Uh, the big things you can change on here is gonna be the pedal assist. Uh, we set it one through five, you can bring that down to one through three, or if you want to break up the increments on the power delivery, you can go one through nine. So have at it, Scotty. All right, so yeah, the first thing we're gonna do um, is we're gonna double tap the power button. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna bring us over to a whole lot of different settings here. And these settings here, they're individually set. So basically, um, you've got language here. So if you touch language, you're gonna basically touch the power button, just push it boom it's going to actually highlight the language then push it again and what that's going to do is it's going to bring you over to the actual screen push it again it'll start flashing and then you use the plus button or the minus to uh you know figure out what exactly you need as far as your uh language you know selection which is great because we're going to be over in europe this bike is actually now um um, EU certified. I dumped about $28,000 getting my bike certified. So we have our new uh, dealer over in Spain and we're also going to be working on other parts. But yeah, we'll, so we'll dump out of this real quick. There's a lot of stuff going on here. We're just going to kind of cover some of the basics on here. Here's the system right here. The same thing again. You'll just click on it and then you click on it again. The one thing that I was making a mistake on when I first started doing this was actually just trying to use the plus and the minus real fast without actually selecting things. So always just remember to hit your center button and then you can use your plus or you know your so negative So the Imperial, down. this is gonna be go between miles per hour and, um, and uh, kilometers. Kilometers, yes, so, correct, yeah. yeah. So we'll try to go through kind of what each one is. So we'll go back over to Imperial. Yeah, and then we'll go back down. Okay, now like see, I was just getting ready to push that again. And all that would have done is change it. So you gotta stop the selection by that button there again. And then you can go back down and then of course hit the center button and exit. But yeah, then you can go through here and you've got brightness on and off. Um, is on off, is that like how many um, minutes? Yeah, that's basically... So yeah. it's going to be defaulted to five minutes. Your display will turn off. I like to have mine down to usually about three, but that's all variant um, on what, what you want to do. I like to just have it off a little bit sooner. So you yeah, go in there, change it to one minute, two minutes, yeah. Yep. Or you can even just turn it completely off, and then, you know, that's your responsibility to turn the bike on then. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Don't yeah. it back up. Let's or even get it back two hours, wow. <laughs> yeah, leave it on it, definitely. Okay, so yeah, so you guys get the idea. So folks, we're on a learning curve with you just like this. So we're actually just learning this as we go along, kind of. And you go down here one more, and this is kind of the cool one right here. This is the scenes. And you started out, we saw the real modern screen. 
Same thing again, center push your button and you're gonna have that, so center push it again. And that is showing that you, right now we're on the modern look and if you go down here and you push it again, you're gonna to go to the classic look. Go ahead and push that. Let's yeah, we'll just do that and then we'll come back down here and then we'll uh, go back. And then that takes us out, you can do our clocks, you can do a lot of different things so there. Let's show the old display. How do we get that? Do yeah. you turn it on and off again? Or? Yeah, we basically just have to go down here now to the bottom. So you can see the other things we're pushing. We get down here to the exit. You just push that and that exits and bam, there bam, comes there's the like the old pro display. So super kick ass, still looking, uh, depending what you want. Um, yeah. So right now we'll go into a little bit further into the settings to change the uh, power assist levels. Okay. Again, we're going to double click and we're going to go into the system is that where the time the clock is at as well as the yeah on? okay yeah we're going to go into system and that's going to also give us uh your um assist levels right there and so we're going to select that and what's actually did is it actually selected all the stuff that was in the settings so yeah now we're just going to scroll down then we're going to hit, Look at that. And so there's your one through five. So we don't need to put a passcode in? Nope. No, it doesn't come, doesn't, you can actually select your passcode on this one here. Um, and that's another way or place you can go in there and you can set your passcode so you only know how to um, run the bike. Run the bike. Okay. Yeah. And like I said right there, you can push this. Oh, see, I didn't select it. You select it and then bam, fives got all your different numbers there that Up you can nine, use. Yeah. Yep. So we, we like just leave us uh, on five. We found that just kind of the best overall. Yep. And select and then basically back to that. Now remember when you're in this settings here, this is a little different because you're going to, you could get lost in here because of there's so many different things going on on this page. I really won't worry too much. We have, yep. the, we have the wheel set already set, the battery voltage. Yep. Um, what's that of the battery? Uh, indexes so yeah. I wouldn't really get too much into this thing we just wanted to go over you know some of the basics changing the pedal assist yeah uh, the levels um, let's look at power range look at that let's see what that <laughs> does so we're gonna select that and that's gonna give us basically oh okay so that will give us your our wattage we already know that we're running uh, so put a thousand in there so we got a thousand watt motor yeah I think that's going to be the setting for it. Yeah, there it is. So yeah, you select that. So yeah, you can even select that, which that's, you know, there's a lot of different settings on here. So what would so. this do? We got a thousand, then let's go back. What's it do? Give us our overall power range, what's left mm -hmm. on power? Yeah. Okay. So we're going back. Yeah, power range and then... Uh, I'm not sure what power range Well, Yeah, anyway, well. so yeah, it's either that or the voltage. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, like I said, just a lot of different stuff. And then to exit that, you just hit that and then that brings you back there. And just always remember, whenever you're selecting things, select that. When you always get to exit, it's always going to bring you back to the center screen. And so that if you want to do more, you just got to keep double clicking and then, you know, go to your settings. But it's pretty simple. Just double click everything and select up and down select up and down and then so, you know just that's basically your, your way you do it so all right so yeah. there's a little bit of a insight on that so a little little closer view here um, got the new uh, triple clamp here kind of uh, racing C to match also the suspension leakage and of course you always want to protect your investment so we've got the mounting um, placed right here for the Avis locks um, Got the sole fast tires, and for those of that think that we're just sitting around doing nothing, here's a sneak peek at the Super Soul. I'm not going to talk too much about that, but that's coming out this spring. It's going to blow the doors off of pretty much every sit down bike that's out on the market. So, Soul fans, we appreciate your business. Any questions, hit us up 657 215 0099. Scotty's my new tech guy, main guy, advertising guy, fun guy, the Soul guy. Take care, guys.